Dr. Pinball help with me, Rudy? <laughs> Fun house. What was that? Oh, well, welcome back. Uh, here's a little summary of what I've been doing with uh, Fun House. Uh, we had a problem with some of the parts of Rudy, so um, I had to behead him from the game. And I'll give you a little summary of uh, how that's done. Uh, on the on the top side of the playfield, there's a there's this front half and then the back half of Rudy right here. Um, before you can remove him, and he's pretty easy to remove once you know the the secret. There's a screw on each side, and there's also a screw for the back part. So you have to get up on the top of the game, and you, and it's not easy to get to. You almost need like an angled screwdriver to to unscrew those things, and then that comes off. And this, that's why this is still down there in the bottom of the machine. You see down here this little hole where Rudy came from, right there. And uh, once that, once the head is removed from up top, there are these four screws here that basically keep Rudy attached. So you can undo these screws and then pull him out. And there's some plugs that you have to unplug, and then you're good to go. Then you can take this guy out and you can work on him separately. There's also there's a mouth there's a mouth motor assembly that has to be removed that bolts right over here too that uh, you have to take that off and uh, that's what attaches to this little doohickey right here. So let me summarize what what all has had to, has to be done. Um, there are basically three moving parts here. You have the eyeballs which move left and right. You have the eyelids which go like that or they go to sleep. And then you have the mouth down here which moves up and down. The eyelids are controlled by a set of two different coils back here. Let me see if I can orient it. See right here. And uh, you have this lower one which makes the eyes go up and down from, a, from, either, from the midway point. And then when the rear coil fires, it makes them go to sleep like that. So these are kind of tricky to get to, and um, I figured out the best way to do that, so I'll go over it right now. Then you also have the eyeballs. The eyeballs are controlled by two coils here, and they, they fire alternating back and forth. And these things uh, self-center themselves after it's fired. So one way, and then when you let go, they just kind of come to the middle. Uh, and then the mouth is run by an electric motor, and I'll go into that in a second. <coughs> um, these eyelids and the eyes often break. They can be replaced. Eyeballs are about 20 bucks a piece. Not cheap, so they're not fun to replace. There's lots of little tiny parts in here, but it's relatively self-explanatory once you start undoing things. To get to these parts here, to replace these, these ones, let me see if I can angle this better so there's better light. But to get to these parts here, what you want to do is you want to undo this screw right here. You see there's an L, or like a U-shaped bracket right here. Um, you undo this screw, and you undo these two screws, and you take this little L bracket out. And then you, um, yeah, you could probably leave this bracket on and undo just these two right here, these two screws. And then you just slide this one out or remove it completely. And then this bracket, you kind of slide out. Once you slide it out, you can get to these two plungers here to surface them in case one of them's broken. Or in case you need to remove any of these parts here, you can uh, just uh, kind of bend it out. But to separate the eyelids from this plunger here, you really need to pull this thing out and then move this whole assembly forward a little bit and then you can kind of arrange the eyelids. The eyelids are attached to this plunger up top here and you have to pull the plunger out a little bit and then you have to twist the eyelids a certain way because there's, it's like a notched thing. When you look at it you can see but the way to getting into it that I found is removing this bracket right here and then you can get to it. I originally thought you know if I undid all the coils I could pull things out from the back but it's much easier to do it from the front here. So, this is uh, the Rudy head assembly. I've got it all back together after replacing a couple of the parts and everything seems to be working nicely right now. Um, 
Now I'm going to work on the mouth because the mouth wasn't working. Basically, nothing was working on this guy. Um, and so now I've got. Now I'm slowly putting everything together. Been waiting for the parts to come in. Now they're in. So let's uh, let's move this over to the workbench. Give me a second, and uh, we'll move everything down. Down the hallway into the lab known as the kitchen where all my sophisticated pinball repair work is going on. And uh, here we are. And what I've got here is the motor assembly. And let's see. I've got it hooked up to a bench power supply so that I can I can test and I've got uh, variable power supply set up here just got it set to about 4 volts I think this thing will handle about 12 volts uh, just and what I'm doing is checking to make sure that the motors working so I've got my leads to these two alligator clips and uh, what I will do is I'll touch the motor See, and it makes it move. And then when I reverse the other way, see. Now my my little piece here is broken, so I'm I'm checking the motor to make sure that the motor works. See, so it works fine. So we know there's no problem you could use you could probably use a 9 volt battery to test this too or a um, even your little PC power supply can crank out some some 5 I think this thing will move probably with with as little as 5 volts I think it's running off of the 12 volt line in the game but check that before you assume I, I fed about 8 or 9 volts to it um, I may have even fed 10 or 12 to it uh, off the, the variable thing just to check. It just makes it go faster. Um, I w definitely wouldn't do more than that. So I've tested the my electric motor. I know that works. And this, um, so now what, what I need to do is the way you can see what's broken on mine is the, the, the end here is broken. And the way this thing, this thing kind of just goes from one end, one stop. And it's just supposed to like not move once it hits that. Apparently, it doesn't damage the motor, but I guess the motor will find the end during the gameplay, and uh, then it knows how to home everything. So, but I'm going to check on that. I wonder if when this thing is initially put together, if it needs to be in a certain spot. You know, whether it needs to be here or here. So. I'm going to take this apart and I'm going to replace this with a new thing. And this is what I was talking about with the, the nubs. You see how the thing's got a little thing right there? This has got a little thing right here. So you line that up and then it works like that. Of course you've got to make sure that you've got it oriented right. And uh, I took a bunch of pictures so uh, when I get ready to put it all back together, I'm going to be re referencing them just to make sure that I've got the, the uh, thing oriented properly. And it's probably something like this. And then this will be, let's see, oh no. This is the underside of the playfield, so it'll prob it's probably oriented somewhere like this, I think. Like that. And then this will be connected here. And that's how it'll be on the underside of the playfield with this going this way, that way, this way, that way. So these things uh, commonly break because that's one of the one of the focal points of the game, and the mouth is always moving. So I'm going to get my replacement part, put this in, and uh, slowly get it back together. But there's in a nutshell how you remove the head and uh, you replace the various little components. The hardest part is just getting to these things and then once they're in it's pretty easy to uh, to uh, get, them, get them going. So, 
Stay tuned for more. Thanks for watching. Visit the website pinballhelp.com. Uh, feel free to leave me comments and let me know what you think. Thanks.